Hey, it's Nathan, and today I'm just going to do another update video. It's what people generally respond really positively to, and it's also what I have the energy to do currently. I'm still a little bit drained from the qual process, and as in my last video, uh, I passed my qual. If you want to hear more about how that went and all that stuff, it's up here, and then it's also in the description, so you can go back in time to see how I was doing like a month ago, or and so forth. I have videos about how things are going at various points in time throughout my PhD process. So yes, I am in the part of my PhD where I don't have to worry about quals anymore. I also don't really have to worry about tests. And it's weird. It's weird because I'm used to being stressed all the time. I'm used to being in this like pressure cooker environment where there are tests and evaluations and homework assignments with hard problems where you have to sort of like scramble to figure out what's going on. And there's this sort of like community of academic trauma bonding that occurs where you're like trying to figure out problems together and people ask for help. And that's sort of like the community around which uh, academic socialization occurs. Uh, at least that has been true to me uh, or true for me, rather, for a large part of my academic career uh, in high school and in college and in part of grad school. And I've progressively throughout grad school tried to sort of like divorce myself from that uh, idea. Uh, so after my first year, I stopped doing homework with other people just because of some stuff that had happened my first year uh, with some not great experiences. And then uh, my second year, I was just really laser focused on being done with quals and my cores so I wouldn't have to worry about like test anxiety and this whole like blockade between me and doing research. Uh, so now that I'm past that blockade and I am studying a field that isn't widely studied at my institution, I am kind of divorced from those two things. And there's definitely an adjustment period for that. Uh, I feel like there's a little bit of ego death occurring right now. That being said, I'm still doing like academic things. I'm still taking classes. I'm doing reading for research projects and stuff that hopefully we'll pick up next semester. And I kind of wanted to talk about how that is. Uh, so at least where I'm at after you pass your qualifying exams, what happens is that you have some credit requirements and you have the dissertation. I didn't have to pass my quals until the end of my seventh semester. I'm currently in my fifth semester, so I'm a little bit ahead of the curve. And for that reason, uh, the only thing I really need to do is get credits and then also take dissertation hours. But uh, because my advisor is going to be on a sabbatical and then traveling most of the year, I am more focused on just doing credits right now. Uh, I'm reading for my research stuff on my own and doing all that. And I, I email my advisor weekly. Uh, it's, it's very kind of peaceful right now. I just, I type them up an email about all the things that I really enjoyed or like thought were interesting or questions I have. And he tells me like things to read in addition to what I'm reading to understand those questions or just like, it's like, oh, good job or like, oh, you should revisit these things or stuff like that. So it's very hands off currently, I would say, and it's, uh, which is okay. Um, but in terms of credits, what am I taking? I'm taking, 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 let's see, I'm taking a class on automorphic forms, um, which the only thing I can really associate it to, uh, because I don't really know a ton. I just know what I know from sitting in that class currently. And even that, I don't have a really good handle on. Uh, I just keep relating it to elliptic curves. It feels very outside of my realm of interest. That's been interesting. There's been some pretty pictures that we've gotten to draw in there. I'll put up one that I teched in a homework assignment that I had. Um, and I, I just said I don't have homework, but like, I will talk about that in a second. And then the other class I'm taking is a like topics and logic class that's on uh, which, so there's that. And then lastly, I have uh, a topics class 
or it's, it's not a topper's class, it's a reading class um, where we're reading uh, Marcus and Lynn's uh, Symbolic Dynamics and Coding textbook, which I'll put on screen here. It's a book that I've had since my summer before senior year of undergrad. Uh, and I've read a lot of it on my own, but there are certain places where I haven't like gone into full detail. And so that class is mostly just me reading and understanding the proofs in certain sections of the textbook and then going into a classroom with a professor and then another student and I just kind of teach that book. I don't have homework in like the traditional sense of you have a problem set and you turn it in weekly. Uh, for the automorphic forms class there is homework every once in a while and it's very very short. It's extremely short. Uh, so I think our first homework assignment was like two problems and it was having an understanding of a little bit of algebra and a little bit of complex analysis that is rel relevant to that class took like 15 minutes to an hour to finish. And then uh, for my reading class, I do have to like prep a lecture essentially. Uh, but it doesn't feel like homework because it just feels like I'm reading about something that I enjoy, which is really cool. Uh, it's just very different. It's very, very different than what I'm used to. So when it comes to like how research stuff is going and what the big bulk of what comes next is going, there's a little bit of cognitive dissonance between what is reality and how I feel, uh, which is classic me. So topology really helps. The core course really helps with what I'm doing in topological dynamics and real analysis and a little bit of the complex analysis stuff is really helpful for what I'm doing in topological dynamics, especially measure theory oriented stuff. However, the like the sheer chunk of information that I have to be able to understand and the types of arguments that are being used in the topological dynamics stuff that I'm reading about, about um, expansive systems and distance expanding maps, which is not necessarily what I will focus on, but it's like a, it's a good overview of a well studied type of system that gives you a lot of different properties like statistical dynamical properties like central limit theorem, uh, exponential decay of correlations, uh, law of the iterated logarithm, stuff like that. And then also it gives you a lot of um, good just dynamics ideas in general. So like Gibbs states, um, topological pressure, topological entropy, measure theoretic entropy, the variational principle, all of that stuff uh, has, you can sort of talk about it with, with respect to these expansive or distance expanding maps. Uh, so yeah, so the chunk of information that I need to be able to understand in order to read papers in this area that I've chosen to try to focus on is very large. It's just kind of weird right now. It just feels kind of weird. Uh, I'm kind of just like on my own, doing my own little thing. Uh, I tell my advisor what's up and he's like, yeah. And I have one other person in the department who is academically under my advisor. So I'll like talk to him about stuff every once in a while if I get the chance. Um, but he's also like on track to graduate this year. So then it'll just be me uh, under my advisor. I think it will get worse. I think it will be harder. Once I get into like the research part, I think I'll feel more stressed, but right now it's calm. So I guess things are going well. I think it's, it feels different because I'm not as academically stressed as I usually am. And the things that I am feeling more stressed about are just like normal adulthood things like inflation and money. And am I working too much? Am I socializing? Am I taking care of myself? Am I eating enough? Just things that, you know, like are good to think about, uh, right? You know, you should take care of your person and uh, do what you can to, you know, have a have a life. <laughs> uh, and I think I stress about those a little bit more because the past two years have been really bad at a lot of that stuff because I've just been laser focused on, I'm going to pass these tests. I'm going to not have to do homework. I'm not going to have to or scary homework, at least. I'm not going to have to do uh, really stressful exams. I'm going to get away from all of that stuff. In light of all of that, I think one of the things that I'm trying to do currently 
uh, is to just give myself permission to do the bare minimum, uh, which is something that I almost never do. I always try to like do things to 100% instead of 70. Uh, and that's not like I'm gonna start like going about reading in a lower quality or just intentionally do worse on assignments or when looking at problems for research or whatever. It just means that if I put, I, I can't do it all <laughs> is what I real have realized, uh, especially over the past month or two since quals have sort of wrapped themselves up. Um, and especially with just uh, between school and then teaching for school and then outside of school commitments and then taking care of myself and having a YouTube channel that I neglect constantly. I can't do it all. And if I want to focus on things that I think will help me long term and will make me a better mathematician and better math communicator, I don't, I don't, I said a sentence and it was like a really long one and I don't know if I finished it or not. So I'm just going to say this, um, in order to f make sure that I am a well-rounded mathematician, which includes the ability to communicate what I am doing, uh, that means I need to spend more time being creative and focusing on my communication of material instead of focusing all of my time worrying about how I feel behind in terms of research. And it's funny that I say that because a lot of the time that I've been spent worrying about being behind in research has not been productive <laughs> in terms of getting closer to being able to do research. Um, it's been a lot of like reading a thing and then feeling incapable and then worrying about being incapable instead of spending that time feeling incapable doing something I know I can do, which would be make a video. I'm just trying to give my permission, uh, myself permission to relax, make videos, and do enough to succeed, but not kill myself succeeding. And I think that's a good place to be. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I will see you next time.